have a good day everyone we meet today in a transformational moment a moment in history when Tasmania presents a fast growing in entertainment food and services especially in our capital Hobart over the past three months my administration has taken measurements to confront the annual of an innovative restaurant based on the Mona initiative. This is a threat for us, but I can make clear that this is not what's happening here. This arrival has affected in some way um, our, rev our revenues as a restaurant and the competence have absorbed our legal clients. We're working to recover from the decrease of sales in our restaurants, but it's not detrimental. And at the same time, we are reviewing organizational leadership to manage the long-term investments and make sure that this inversion is not going to be affected due to this adverse panorama. We have a contact previously with the Council of Tasmania to renegotiate agreements of promotion of healthy eating programs. The Tasmania Council uh, has agreed in at some point to promote this healthy and make the marketing for our restaurant. Our restaurant is going to be one of the best restaurants in the heart of Hobart that is going to offer by the government advice a healthy diet program. This is going to attract more customers. And to change local and offshore community habits mainly, and promote our restaurant as an example of healthy food. None of this program in this difficult situation would be possible and none of the long-term challenges cannot be detrimental in the future without our strength in our core values. Um, we can take into account the mission and vision supported by the new era of communication that is capable to promote the name of the restaurant in the most prevalent touristic places. Nowadays we can see that oh, the social media is uh, very vital to promote and in a certain point to make the marketing of of the best restaurants and the outstanding service in the hospitality industry. We, yeah, we are based on feedbacks and we work to maintain our qualification in a high grade. Um, at this point nowadays we have our rating in above 4.5 which means mm, too many customers will come and in the listings our restaurant it's going to be in the top 10 of the best restaurants by Google feedbacks okay so uh, the vision and the mission is accomplishing and we still Growing. Okay, by the new era of communication, it's we have to work, we have to work on, and the arrival of a great restaurant. It's real. It's next to us, and it's going to be a competence. But we are based business, and we've been for modern more than 10 years satisfying our onshore and offshore customers so all the risk in our restaurant they come with it it is great irony 
when you reach positive outcomes surrounded by the positive climate. But in this case, uh, a bit of negative climate is arriving and we have to be prepared for that. That's the only reason why there are some rumors that the organization is going to be sold by uh, a big shark. But this is not true. Our organization is solid and you can see in our revenues, in your payments and in the amount of customers that they come to have a great experience, to have a fine dinner in our installations. So the various organizational strategies does exist to empower the staff members into the develop of better skills and boost the organizations to the end of the possible crisis. This is not a certain crisis, but we are prepared to confront any negative crisis that probably could affect us, could affect the industry uh, by the arrival of this of this big business. But we are prepared. The way that we are managing our business is based on competitiveness. This cannot exclude any company starting from the workers in the fishing company in Hobart, the small business woman in Sorel, the bank traded in Launceston, the young man entrepreneur in Silicon Valley. All these people have to face competitiveness issues and we are facing that. And now it's our turn. But every day, we saw companies that fluctuate more positively with the support of the same organization. We need to be still supportive of each other to continue growing. We have failed in the past in the planning of successful menu that we know, but after that we grow maintaining our staff with the same conditions and avoiding staff cuts. In these 10 years we haven't had any staff cuts. So we can we can see that at the first the last three months the cafe has generated forty two thousand dollars total revenue and has increased by 70% of the revenues. You can see that the last year there was a boom of tourism and we, we've been successful for that. The management still increased the promotion activities to introduce new menus and to generate more sales and attract more customers to achieve the desired profit margin. We have to work on to attract and to maintain our loyal customers. So from now on we have to work in a staff in every department to keep this loyalty of our customers. Um, try to expand and attract new customers that they come from the mainland and the new coffee shop that we have been run since last year. About the coffee, the coffee has operated successfully and has obtained the desired sales. This is not any factor of prices in the coffee and it's gonna be possibly the support for our restaurant. We keep these customers and we are offering a plus, a plus service uh, that our competence next to us. So I just wanna clarify that 
and there is not gonna be any problem we are still managing everything um, we from now on we are gonna promote activities uh, required for the staff to keep on going in the way of competitiveness uh, okay um, I want to acknowledge uh, each one for their work we are doing a great job and I want to keep doing that in that way you are doing so well and about the index of turnover we have one of the lowest index of turn turnover so that means that everyone uh, apparently is happy here I want to say thank you to everyone to support this business and continue to work for our organization thank you so much